Hi, and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today, we'll be looking at how to download and update your Synology Drive client for your Windows PC. The instructions will be very similar for a Mac or a Linux machine as well. You need to go to the Synology website and download the new Drive software and install it. It's very, very simple. With Linux, you'll have to go through the Linux commands and the instructions to do that, but you'll be used to doing that yourself, I'm sure. So the reason why we have to do this update is because with the new Synology operating system that's been installed on our servers, it now doesn't work with the current drive version two, and you need drive version three for it to even connect. But you can see here on our computer that we have the old client running, and you can see it's version two, and it is coming up with all of these incompatible drive servers. So to resolve this, what we just need to do is close it down and Google search Knowledge Drive Client Download and come to our first link. And then you come to Download Center and we are going to be saying with a NAS product and it will be the DS9 our one is the 18, but it could be the 20 or whichever version you are using. Then you need to go to the desktop utilities and come down to Drive Client and click Download. Select the particular version you are wanting to download. We'll go for the Windows XE file. And you just save it to a folder that you can easily access and you'll know where it is. I'm going to come and save it to our networking drive. It doesn't stop having Windows network access to it, it's purely just the drive client for drive files and folders that is affected by this. Close that window once it's downloaded. Double click and run. Say yes. Select English. Next. Of course, you agree, you haven't got a choice. Finish. You can see it's now come off down here and it's reappeared. You can see it's updating. Okay, it's still updating. You have to let it finish updating before it will connect or give you any further information. Okay, it's now up to date. You can see it's got red, so if you right click on it, you can go to about. You can now see that we're using the new drive system. And if you click on it, you can now see that it is synchronizing our folders. You can come to your settings tab. And again, it's now all working. It literally is that simple. It is one of the simplest updates I've ever seen any company do. You don't have to do any logging back ins. It just worked. Very well done to Synology for that, thank you very much. It would have been nice to have been clearly informed that we needed to have done the update before we updated the server, so we could push that information out at the same time rather than doing multiple information emails, letting people know. But it's so, so simple. I'm very glad that went through quickly. We'll be doing another video about the actual new version seven operating system as well for Synology later on. Uh, it looks very nice. A lot of nice new features have been installed. They've included some of the updates I actually requested. I assume lots of other people requested the updates as well, such as when the client device was last connected to Synology Drive, because there's no point saying it was connected for so many hours. Well, when was so many hours connected? So it's really nice, the new system, and we'll be getting that into a later video. If you did find this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please do give it a good like, comment, subscribe, and leave us comments they are always very good we do appreciate all the comments and if you do want to buy anything from our channel please do use our affiliate links in the description below of any of our videos they are helping our channel grow they are helping to
fund the production of videos and pay for the equipment. So we really do appreciate all your support. It's much appreciated. Kind regards. I uh, do wish you all the best. Take care. Bye for now.